Hi, in this troubleshooting video, I'm going to give a quick overview of the few the typical mistakes and uh, issues that people can come across when they're trying to set up the Versatile. Uh, in this case, they work with a Sky multi-room box, okay? So the first thing here is, um, we, in this particular scenario, we have it set up with a scar lead running over to, from the box over to the Versatile and then an RF lead running directly in and we've set it to the default channel 21. So what we want to do now is we want to come along, we want to set this TV to channel 21 and hopefully the picture will pop up, okay? So what I'm going to do now in terms of tuning in the television, I'm just going to uh, have it set to a channel and I'm just going to hit the menu button and I'm going to come over as far as the install and tune menu. I'm going to come down to the manual uh, scan here and what we want to do here is, we want to set it to analog, okay? Uh, I'm just going to set this as initially the BG here, okay? And uh, we know the channel is 21, so that's what we'll do is we'll come along, uh, we'll press OK to start to search here. It's going to just search here and see does it find a channel coming out, which hopefully it will. And then at that point, we'd expect that um, the output would display directly onto the screen, okay? So we come along here, Seems to have found something 2021, but no signal. And we're saying, well, what's wrong? Why isn't this working? This thing isn't, it's faulty, something like this. So, uh, but it isn't, okay? So it's actually a setting on your skybox. So what I'm gonna cover here now is I'm just gonna flick the output here over to the HDMI lead, because I just wanna bring up, let's say, the actual output from the skybox that we need to change. So just flick in here now in a second. All right, it's just going to bring up this menu here now. If you have any second. Right, so here we have it here. So I'm just going to go in and I'll hit the services button here. And we come along and we want to go over to the settings menu here. So we go to the settings anyway. And I'll arrow down. And in the picture settings, we notice the following thing. The scar control is off. Now by default, normally on skyboxes, this is off. If we're running a scar directly from a skybox to the TV, it makes a difference. But if we're trying to run it through a third party piece of equipment like this, it does make a difference. So what we have to do here is we have to come along, we have to turn it to on, we have to hit the green button to save our settings. And now we can just do backup all the way out. And we've saved our setting here. And now we'll go back to the channel where we're after um, tuning it in on um, the, the correct frequency, channel 21, which is an output frequency on this thing here. So we've just come along and hit channel 911. And the reason we're, it's up here is just this an analog and a digital TV. And now we can see, we can see the output display on it, okay? Now, a problem that we can have at this point here is that sometimes we'll say we can get a solid buzzing noise coming from the television, depending on the country output we're after setting on the television itself. So what I'm going to do at this point here is once again, I'm just going to show a quick thing on the menu, where I'll just go back into the install and tune menu. I go to the manual tune here. And what we can do here is, if we set this to BG here, what would happen here is, and we save that particular setting, it would probably cause a solid um, buzzing sound on it. So what we just do here is we just put it over as far as I, save that setting, and uh, the, uh, that'll solve that problem. So that's another thing that we just found on the thing. There are two key, key things. Now the third thing will come along here is that if people come along and they connect up this particular setup, and they have, uh, they had originally planned to say to put it on the I.O. link, and I subsequently decide actually it's suit them better to use it via the scar lead. Or to run it there, to run it over, they can see the picture but they can't change channels and they're wondering why isn't my sky eye working? It's lighting up but it's not changing for me. And the reason is that uh, if you set this thing up with an I.O. cable running from the box of the TV, that if you change, send the signal to the, via the sky eye to change channels, it runs to the box, versatile, and from the versatile set it over and tell the box, the sky box directly, change channels for me. But if you're doing it via the scar lead, there's no way of sending the signal from the versatile back over to the skybox unless you have this additional product here, which is this um, uh, uh, little IR sensor here, which would push in the front of the box here like this. And what we do then is we leave it sitting somewhere in front of the skybox 
you just uh, we have a little um, sticky pad that would come with this uh, with the product and it just sits here and it just means that when you send a signal to the sky eye it comes back over here and it comes out through here and it sends the signal directly through the front of the box as if you were aiming the remote control directly at the box and it allows you to flick channels on it. So there are probably three key pit, uh, areas where people run into problems in terms of the installation of this. Overall, we'll say, in, in terms of comparison to other products on the market, it really is so flexible in terms of it can do it via the IO link, it can do it via the SCART, and in terms of picture quality all the rest of it, this is a fantastic product, really brilliant. So that's it anyway, an overview of our troubleshooting guide for the uh, versatile modulator from uh, Blake Perception, which is available on tvtrade.ie.